Under the previous government of Apisidweta Chiwa, former Prime Minister Taksin Chinawat's Thai passport was revoked to try to prohibit him from travel. But the recent government under Prime Minister Ying Rak Chinawat does not have a policy to block the movement of Taksin in foreign countries. And now questions have been raised whether the foreign ministry will reissue his Thai passport. <laughs> The ministry's 2005 regulation and travel documents does not otherwise officials to issue a passport to a person who is serving a sentence for a crime or who is freed on bail if the court, governing officials or the police do not allow the person to have a passport. Since Taksin has been convicted of wrongdoing in the Ratsada Pisek land purchase case and sentenced two years in jail by the Supreme Court for political post holders, he certainly falls under this category. Another big concern for Thais is with the case of obtaining an emergency passport. The Department of Consular Affairs would have to take immediate measures to provide service to the citizens without having to alter the rules and regulations set forth by the government. San Arun Raksatich Thai, chief of the legal section of the Passport Division in Consular Affairs, Department of Foreign Ministry, sees fit to reiterate the terms and conditions in which to grant a diplomatic passport to officials. Cases which are risky includes the issuance of an emergency passport to citizens. So if uh, in emergency case, it will be overseas. So if you have Thai ID card or any other documents that can prove that you are a Thai citizen, then we can issue it to you. But if not, not enough uh, document that can prove that you are a Thai citizen, then we will issue instead a certificate of identity, or CI, which is a white passport. Uh, it will be like that, see? For you to travel back to Thailand only. However, when asked about the case of Taksin, Sun said the ministry will follow the rules set forth by an official letter from the Supreme Court, but at the moment there's not enough information to further proceed with the case. Oh, I'm sorry, but I think we need more information to discuss on that, which I do not have it in hand yet. Yeah. Though officials must strictly obey the laws set forth by the government, Surat Hora Shaikun, assistant professor of the political science faculty at Jalalongkorn University, has a different take on the issue. In his opinion, Tuxin's we ability to travel to Japan on August 22nd to 28th says a lot. The, uh, uh, but undoubtedly, I am quite certain that Japan would never allow uh, Kun Tuxin to enter the country if Japan was not, you know, requested by someone. Assistant Professor Surat questioned how is it that a person who has been convicted of corruption and given a jail term of more than one year is able to travel freely into a country currently under the Immigration Control and Refugee Recognition Act. The law clearly states that any foreigner who has been convicted of breaking the law and issued a prison term of one year or more is denied permission to land in Japan. But again, this is not an issue of only, you know, relations. It is also an issue of uh, legitimacy. How can we create the system of rule of law, not only within the country, but also within the region? And if we do not uh, oblige ourselves to this kind of law, then we are making mistakes. We are opening the gap, we are opening the hole. And in the future, who knows what would happen? Clearly, Taksin and how Thai officials should handle issues related to him remain something closely watched by the Thai public, given the fact that he is brother to the current prime minister and has huge influence over the government. Tanatai Gansanasun for Thai ASEAN News Network.